It was planned because this is a new uh, district of Copenhagen, Ørsted, and uh, they wanted a cultural building to be a dynamo for uh, the social and cultural development in this part of the city. A new school which could provide answers for how school buildings for the future should be like. In questa scuola l'ambiente per le attività didattiche è differenziato. Oltre all'aula tradizionale c'è l'area dedicata al lavoro di gruppo, l'area per lo studio individuale e l'area plenaria per riunire più classi. Il docente può organizzare le attività in modo diversificato in funzione dei diversi spazi a disposizione. Today I had a lesson where we combined uh, the classroom with the group areas. So I started with a more old school the way of, uh, of talking the pupils through their lessons today, what their, their home assignment, what they should read today for the first half an hour. Uh, and then um, I sent them out to the group uh, area where they were sitting in groups and discussing our, uh, uh, different questions uh, to, to the text. In my previous school, it was much like um, in the classrooms, a teacher standing at the blackboard and teaching us stuff and um, just a lot of uh, like theory about different kind of stuff. And then in this uh, school, it's uh, way more like group working, working together with the other people. And for example, you get like a, a worksheet and you've just been told here, uh, try to work with these questions and then um, if there's something you don't know you ask the teacher but it's it's uh, way more like group working in this school and there are like the physical differences I mean in my old school it was in this old trashy old hospital where there wasn't there wasn't really space enough for everyone and the building was so ugly and we had thousands of books and here we have we don't have any books we have iPads instead and I, I love the building and there's so much space and air around us and everything works. <laughs> Gli spazi sono pensati per studiare, per socializzare e accogliere. L'area mensa può trasformarsi in luogo di incontro al di fuori dell'ora dei pasti. La palestra, organizzata come area multifunzionale, può diventare un ambiente dove svolgere attività didattiche. Non ci sono corridoi o aree di passaggio, perché tutti gli spazi sono fatti per essere abitati. I couldn't imagine uh, an architecture like this school building. Uh, without a very strong ICT backbone. Especially important for teaching activities in the open air. We close the house at, at nine o'clock, so uh, without uh, any notice, they can stay here until nine every day. But students that want to do a project and use our facilities, or students that want to uh, make music and use our uh, studio, students who want to uh, edit their movie or something like that, they can uh, uh, get an entrance card and uh, they can come in here during the weekend. At our school, our future textbook will be provided on uh, an electronic platform uh, right now it, it will be Google Apps, but maybe something else comes around. And it will consist of materials that are written by our own teachers. We have projects where we pay teachers to write uh, textbooks when we don't think 
the textbooks are good enough uh, or if they are not electronic yet. So we have some projects about that. The textbook material for the oral exam this summer will be written by the class themselves. But of course under the guidance of the teacher. Uh, but they, they all the time write new chapters of the textbook and in the end they have written the textbook for the exams. Thank you.